So here, from the video I did last night, here on my phone from December 29th, when I was talking, this is what came out. Some of this I said, some of it I didn't say. Some of the phone printed out itself. The name Bara is the is part of the Elohim. That part, that part, I did say because in the dream, the, that's why the guy said to the other guy that why the Jews worship the fallen angels. I didn't say the the la la oo oo, which is backwards zoo la la, which is the French slang for a woman. Um, I didn't say that part. Okay, so then it goes on to say that there's there's two rings that are binding all of this. <clears throat> Here's the two rings that are that are in universal pictures. So that's binding them as well as it's binding us. Here in the Hebrew, the dude was translating it, and that the follower in in Hebrew, the Elohim are associated with the bara, which is part of the creative force of the Elohim. So. <clears throat> that that's that. So then I went and I started doing some more digging. I ran across this some dope. His name is Winfrey, like Oprah. It just says Winfrey, W I N N F R E E, whatever that means. I'm sure that's code as well. It says, "Awesome." The Elohim is sure how they function. In our world, we do not speak English. We communicate with mathematics, mathematical equations and relationship in terms of a very easy back and forth communications. Well, there, there's your there's your sacred geometry, there's your gematra, uh, figuring stuff out with addition and subtraction, division, multiplication. Um, over here, it goes on to say we have higher frequency groups that can send energy that appears in colors. There's your rainbow. That's the different colors that you're seeing in pictures on TV that we keep catching, the red and the blue, the yellow and the pink and all of that because it, it's communicating like a computer okay so of these of these original fallen ones there was they, always, they teach you that there was 200 but some some other writers said there's 300 which makes sense because that's the movie 300 right but one of these dudes uh, these fallen angels is named uh, pen penamu and that's where you get the word pen Taught mankind the art of writing with ink and paper and taught the creatures of men the bittersweet secrets of wisdom. Interestingly enough, it's 169, right? So th it's these fallen Elohim that taught man how to read and write because they're telling you right here. So whatever these Elohim are, these fallen angels, <clears throat> the ones that you're supposed to be praying for, you know what story they're trying to use by using a jet that never existed, Okay. I'm not praying for them. They never took me bowling or bought me a fucking beer. And if they're supposed to be greater than us, why would I be praying for them? Now, it sounds to me like somebody's trying to invoke, invoke something. Do you have to pray? Do you have to pray for God or do you pray to him? So why would you pray for the Elohim? Why? Because they got an ass kicking coming? Or because you're trying to raise them from, from one status to another? The fucking world, you stupid fucks. Pray for uh, pray for flight through MH370 morons. It doesn't matter to these guys. You're, they're they're translating it the same way: forward, backwards, upside down, reverse. It don't matter. That's why L E E L A I L A L, like Uncle Al, could be Uncle L. It doesn't matter because of the way that this is set up, the way that the language is set up. So they created our language so that they, they could create and control us on, on with uh, their language. That's what all of this is. <clears throat> Here, Philos Biblos, the dude they called Saturn Yahoo, mentioned some living beings who had no perception, out of whom intelligent beings came into existence. Basically, he's talking about the Watchers. And they were formed like in the shape of an egg. Anybody that's seen that stupid Lady Gaga that comes on stage being carried in an egg, that's why. And now it's not reptilian. So here, this explains all of your all your masonry right here, and all of your Jewish gematra right here. Because they're speaking with something that speaks in math, and that's the fallen angels. They don't talk in words like we do. And here it is right here. And all of this 
oh, love and peace and all of that bullshit. That's just a part of a bigger scam, which is the, oh, meditate, you know, clear your mind. Look, you're born with a certain amount of background noise in your head. I think they're called beta waves. I don't remember. <clears throat> That's like a firewall on a computer. It keeps your mind busy so other shit can't sneak in. You know, it's the, it, it, like you dopes that daydream all the time. Those guys, so it's because their heads, their mind is somewhere else. Okay, Th th these idiots that meditate, and then all of a sudden, they, you know, <clears throat> they start learning to do this all the time. It's because they're taking, they're dropping their fire firewall <clears throat> and allowing these things to get in and basically download their programming into their head. <clears throat> That's what all this fucking goofy, the goofy looks on their face and the, the, uh, Love and peace and all that. No, there is no love and peace here. That's not how this place works. Okay? You're born a certain way. This place was supposed to run a certain way. Freaks using the guise of, of, of love and then turn around and murder millions of people is not the mind of a human being. That's that's the reality of it. But they get they get overwhelmed by this feeling of euphoria or whatever the heck it is. And because they get tied in with this thing, or these things, to them it's perfectly normal because they no longer have their own identity. They've, they've kind of turned it over. And so that's what all it is, you know, when you hear them using the slang, oh, pie this and pie that. And that's all part of their their lingo that has to do with dealing with these these particular Elohim. So there, now you, now you know what all this sacred geometry is. It's a way of commencing in conversation with these guys. And so when you look at the name like Barack Obama, here you have the word, the fallen angels, Bara. I tell you, I got this in a dream, so it's bizarre, and that's been bizarre enough, but when you get the name Bara, okay, and then you all you got to do is put a CK on there, and you got Barack Obama. You know how many people have accused that guy of being the Antichrist? I don't personally think he is, but I think he's, he's in line with it. Because he I mean he's the dude with the Go Green initiative, <clears throat> which is wipe out a bunch of people. It's just, you know, so everybody else can have a good time. But only the chosen ones, of course. You don't count because you're a piece of shit. Remember? You're not even human. You're a golem. You're made from mud. So there you go.